So this is our inclinado. This is from the 2013 harvest. And inclinado in Spanish means tilted. And it's our interpretation of a bass cedra. And so I don't know if you've ever had cedras before. No, tell no. me about them. Well, tell me about what's going on. Very cool. So in Spain, in the Basque and Asturias regions, they have a really rich culture of cider making. And they make cedra. And what they do is they take high acid or sharp cider apples and they press it and then they put it into these big chestnut casks mm -hmm. and they ferment it with natural yeast um, and there's a lot of oxidation that goes on but that's part of their style and so it tends to be acetic and a little bit barnyardy um, but for me they're super dynamic and really beautiful ciders and so we wanted to try that out because we like to use tradition as a jumping off point but we use our own apples so this is 50 percent organic Ravenstein mm -hmm. It was um, from the 2013 harvest, and we fermented it with natural yeast in neutral French oak barrels, racked it, then put it back in barrel to age for about a year. Now, the really fun thing about cedras is they're always bottled still or tapped straight from the chestnut cask. But you'll notice this might have a little bit of spritz to it, uh -huh. okay? They do a long pour. I can't really do it very well, so I'm not going to try, but I'll give you a little show. Oh, oh, is yeah. they take the bottle from here and they'll have a tumbler and they'll fill it up from above. And what happens is that you're aerating the, the cider as it comes through and you're livening it up and adding a new dimension and adding a little carbonation. Well, Americans, we're not quite good at that yet. And so to approximate that spritz, we took some juice from the 2014 harvest, some fresh apple juice, mm -hmm. put it in there as a dosage mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and let it bottle condition. And so that's where the spritz is coming from. Got it, got it. So in, in that way of adding the, the juice in, it's almost like you're krausening or uh, like what the beer makers do when they add a little bit of the fresh wort to the already uh, fermenting beer and, and then keg it in that, in that sense. That's right. Sort of adding, adding the new into the old and so it, it uh, carbonates it. Absolutely. And so it's just a small amount. Um, you really have to chill this very well because uh -huh. of the bottle conditioning. And then um, I, though, it's for serving temperature, I like it around 50, 55 degrees uh -huh. in a nice white wine glass with a wide bowl and a tapered, um, a tapered mouth. That's great. And you know, the aromas remind me of a barrel fermented Chardonnay. Mm. Almost, it's very fruity. You get some of the caramelization, and mm -hmm. uh, some of that is oxidation as well. But then you get the, uh, the that great fruit coming through. Right, it's, it's, right. It's delicious. Good. I'm glad yeah. you like it. Yeah.